over here! The Lagoon's Alliance sacks Flaguerre with ease and sets off immediately for Mugil. The fortresses of Flaguerre and Mugil are both key to the defense of Western Benyon and have figured for many years in the military plans of Gallia, Crimea, and Dayan. The fortress of Mugil is well defended by thick walls and countless blades. However, the Lagu's alliance knows that if they are to win this war, Mugil must fall. Ike and his companions march on, though thoughts of the medallion and the dark god entombed within fill their hearts with dread. So you know how in Path of Radiance, to get Alincia to Benyon, we kind of went down south through Gallia and then around the bottom side of the continent. Yeah, they had to actually go through the seas to do it. Yeah, because you could just go <clears throat> east from Gallia, but the mountains are so hard to pass through and you'd be technically in Benyon, but it would be the outpost where, like, you don't really know if those people would help you get to the exactly, capital or exactly. not. And with Dayan, like, sniffing around, it would be way too dangerous. But for this war, Gallia is brute forcing the mountain pass. Yep. Now, our next, our next target is Mujil. Its gate is already sealed, and it looks like they intend to keep it that way. This won't go as easily as our battle in Flogger. Ugh. <sighs> Bayork are all the same. We will run them down just as before. Skrimir, please listen. Just this once. What do you think, Soren? The Flanguera survivors will have warned Mijil of our advance. That's so obvious. Even you must have anticipated it. You don't have a plan? Do you mock me, Bayork boy? Why should I bother with plans? No soldier would cower behind stone walls after being challenged to a battle. We will issue a challenge, and they will meet it. We have no need for plans. Do you realize how completely absurd you sound? The enemy did not build the fortress so they could stand outside of it. They will not come out of their own accord. But those bear cowards! They will hide from us? What do we do? I do not know how to fight cowards. Don't you get it? That's what we're trying to decide. Think, Skrimir. Just try. No! That's your job, Reinolf. You're my second in command. Think of a way to... Think, think of a way for me to use my strength. Anything else is a waste of time. I'll be training outside. Tell me when you have a plan. Jeez, Skrimir. Wait, Skrimir! This is ridiculous. I'm amazed that someone was desperate enough to make that fool a general. I'm tempted to agree with you on that, but there's a reason he's here. <laughs> I love how just candid Soren is with insulting the a... next the next heir to to like ben, to <laughs> yeah. like Gallia. But Ronolf is like, no, yeah, I get it, absolutely. Never in its history has Gallia invaded another country. We don't have any experience or tactics to fall back on for this. On top of that, our general... Well, you've seen it yourself. Skrimir. He doesn't pay attention to details, nor does he strategize. Sadly, it's not just Skrimir. Most Lagoos are the same. They're arrogant, but s they're arrogant and stubborn. It doesn't even occur to them that they won't be able to power through the Bay Orc forever. Why isn't Kenegis leading the army? It's not an option. We aren't mobile like the Bird Tribes. Once we leave our lands, it isn't easy for us to get back. We can't take we can't take our king away from his domain. Well, what about Gifka? Or what about Gifka then? There have to be other capable generals in Gallia. Yeah, you'd think General Gifka would lead, but Gifka has other duties to attend to, so really that just leaves Skrimir. I understand. Lagoos choose their leaders based on strength. If Skrimir is to be the next king, this war is the best opportunity for him to learn about strategy. Exactly. Since that's the case, we need all the help we can get. Please, lend us your wisdom. Without your help, this war's outcome is certain. You can count on us, Reinolf. 
We've told you already. We're here to help. Soren, say something. Well, well. Looks like your strategist isn't fond of Lagoos just yet. I'm sorry, Ronolf. He's gotten better, but... Soren... Soren, Ronolf helped us out. On top of that, he's our client. It's our turn to return the favor, and it's our job to do it right. Got that? Fine. But it'll cost you more. Thanks, all of you. We appreciate the help. Give me some time to myself. I'll come up with a plan to get us through this mess. Great. We're counting on you, Soren. I know. I'll do what I can. I like I, I like the fact that they address that. Like even old, though old prejudices die hard, I guess. Oh, absolutely. I'm pretty sure that like it's not addressed. At least like it's not addressed immediately. But I'm pretty sure Sheenan is also holding on to some of those grudges. But he still remain. I'm pretty sure Sheenan has his reasons for remaining in the company. We might get a support conversation about that. Like right now. Right huh? now. <laughs> yeah. All right then. Let's get to it. No, no, no! On the battlefield, nothing is more important than precision and skill. Nah, sorry kiddo. Power is the most important element. You don't know what you're talking about. It's skill. It's power. Did you practice being this stupid? Idiot meathead. What? Take that back, you little brat. Stars above, don't you two ever stop fighting? You're siblings. Be nice to each other. So what is it this time? <laughs> you be the judge, Mist. What's the most important quality a soldier can have in battle? It's power, but little Rolfie here insists that it's skill. If you don't have skill, you can't hit your enemies. If you're weak, you can't hurt them, even if you do hit them. Ah, oh, you two are ridiculous. What's funny is that boy can have really good skill. Yeah. <laughs> ridiculous? Yeah, what do you mean by that? Skill and power are both important. Only a bad soldier would focus on one over the other. That's true, but... You could at least play along a little. Play along? I'm sick and tired of having to listen to your silly arguments. Anyhow, I'm going to give you something. Here you go, Boyd. Hey, thanks. What's that? A shirt? Yep. Boyd's just... Boyd's just like Ike. He keeps growing like a beanstalk. If we didn't constantly make his clothes bigger, he'd run out of things to wear. I'm too broke to buy new ones. <laughs> thanks for fixing it up, Mist. I really appreciate it. Well, I can't sew very well, but it gets a job done. That it does. I thought Oscar fixed our clothes. He's been busy, so I offered to take over some of his chores. Rolf, I can alter your clothes too. If you want, I mean. No thanks. I can do it myself. Really? Well, alright then. Like he needs alter alterations. I don't think he's grown in years. Right, short stuff? Shut up, meathead. Why, you little... Hey, cut it out! Rolf, wait! Yeah, you'd better run, you moss-headed twerp. Come on, you guys. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. Rolf has grown. Oh my god. Because Mist has definitely grown, and Rolf was the same size as her before and is the same height as her now. Yeah, he, he's defi he definitely has grown, but I can also believe that he would be able to mend his own clothes. That being said, like... I can understand the situation here because while Boyd does get that balance, let's be real for a moment, strength, while also important, is not as important as skill when you're an archer. Yeah. Also, though, if you've ever shot a real bow and arrow, like, they are need, heavy. You need some arms. They are heavy. Oh, and this girl? You're going to think you're dreaming. She's as lovely as the dawn, I tell you. Alright, just show me already. Where's the sunrise with legs, anyway? Wait, are you saying you're actually curious? I never thought I'd see the day. Well, we're gonna have to hang around these subhumans for quite a while. I prefer a pretty face would help keep would help keep me sane. Oh my god, this girl. <laughs> uh, do you want to, or should... I'll do liar. I feel like you'll do better. I'll do this one. Hey, you! You wanna say that again? Ah. Uh. Hey, pussycat. You should have dropped by after. You should have dropped by after dinner. I'm a generous man. I would have. I would have given you some table scraps. T table scraps? How dare you? You scum! Who do you think you are? I'm not going to forget that. Aw, kitty wants to play. Sure, I've got some time to kill. Let's dance, hairball. <laughs> Stop! Don't make another move. Kaiser, 
You should you should hear the garbage he's saying. He's the worst man I've ever met. He's a Bayork liar. Please accept my apology on behalf of my associate. Please forgive her. Now you, liar, apologize to him. What? Why do I have to be the one to apologize? That guy's the one who started it. Do you want me to report to Captain Ronolf that you couldn't control your temper and started a fight with a Bayork? No. I'm waiting. I'd forgive you if you apologized. I'm a nice guy, you know? What? Ugh, never! You're lucky I don't claw that smile off your face! Liar. Uh, I'm sorry. Maybe some other time. Excuse us. Hmm. I hate it when subhumans like him act all high and mighty, pretending to be just like us Bayork. He's even worse than the other hairball. Uh... What? Did all that stun you into silence? You look like you've been hit in the head. So, her name is Liar. What a pretty name. Liar. What? Oh, come on. Don't tell me the girl you were talking about is that pussycat. Don't mock me, Sheenan. This is serious. I feel it. It's destiny. That girl and I are fated to be together. You're chasing after a lagoose now? Gatry, I swear you'd hit on a tree if I dressed it in a skirt. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> oh my god. So, like, that's true. Gatry would date a tree in a skirt. Yeah, he but would. But Sheenan's being super racist. Oh, what else is new? We were and, just talking about this. Like, imagine talking like this when you're outnumbered 500 to 1. <laughs> I think... I, the, By cats. Here's the thing. I think Sheena knows full well he can get away with it because they're in the same company. He's got that provoke skill. Oh my god. So, like... Oh my lord. Like, top priority. So yeah, uh, just to address the cats in the room. Uh, yeah. Yes, that was uh, Liar and Kaiza. Interesting yep. characters, them. Um, I feel bad for Liar. Like, if, Be if Beast Lagoo- if Lagoo's sucked in this game already, well, Liar is unfortunately kind of the poster girl of that. Yeah, I She is not good. I think Leith is a little bit worse, but at that point, like, what's the point in even comparing them? It's actually the opposite. Leith is actually better than her because of availability. Yeah. Uh, availability and certain well, base stats. Like, you'll actually use Leith in part two more likely than you'll use Liar ever. Exactly. So, like, in that way, yeah. But... Yeah. Additionally, um, Leith actually has, like, some higher base stats than Liar does. Yeah. Which Basically, is... Liar is discount Leith, unfortunately. Which is a shame, because she's cool. She is cool. And she's got a huge freaking crush on Ronald. And, uh... So does Kaiza, now that I think about it. Uh, Kaiza also is... Yeah, so Kaiza's a tiger, but he's kind of discount Mordecai. Yeah, um, Liar and Kaiza kind of get the shaft in this game, unfortunately. Yeah. There you are, Commander. I found ya! What can I do for you, Mia? What do you think? I only come for you. I only come to you for one thing. Commander, I challenge you. Again? Haven't you had enough? Not at all. I was pretty close to beating you last time. So come on! The longer we wait, the less I'm gonna remember how... Remember how, about how I got that close. You know, I'm going to... You know I'm not gonna go easy on you, right? Or on anyone else who comes at me with a sword, for that matter. Good! I like it that way. That's why I love training with you. At least you're getting something out of it. Titania and Miss just complain afterwards. Don't you worry about that. I've got the perfect solution. What's that? Yoo-hoo! Reese, over here! Oh, I see. Interesting idea. He'll fix me right up if I get hurt. What do you think of that, huh? You alright with that, Reese? I know you don't like watching allies cut each other up in training. That's true, but I think it's better that I know how the injury happened rather than having someone just show up and bleed on the floor. It will reduce the shock of seeing all that blood, you know? That's something I learned the hard way. Well, as long as you're alright with it, I guess it's fine with me, too. That settles it! The scene is set! The arena ready! Prepare yourself, Commander! Oh, I already have. Get ready! Just please go easy on each other, alright? Did you hear me? Hello? Good to see Mia again. Yeah. Yeah, like, I re I still really feel bad about what happened during that chapter. Well, yeah, we can put it behind us now. I don't... I don't know if Mia's somebody we're gonna take into Endgame, but she can see at least a little action now. Yeah. 
These subhumans don't know how much trouble they're causing. We can't go anywhere. Tell me about it. Just yesterday, we could have gone out for drinks and had ourselves a merry old time. Fortunately, we have enough food. They'll give up if we hold out long enough. <laughs> the costumes are back! Oh, oh my- oh my god- oh my god, this is adorable! Who are they? <laughs> um, sorry we're late. Who are you? Why are you outside? The city is under lockdown. You need permission to leave your homes. By the way, I love the theme. I love the theme that's playing right now. It's yeah. called like um, it's called Cat Something. I forget the actual name of it, but it has something to do with cats. Okay, I'll look it up. What? Well, that's weird. We were told to hand out food to all the watchmen. W what? Well, I guess this isn't the place. Should we head back? We don't want the food to spoil. W wait! Don't go. You don't have to head back. That food is for us. We're sure of it. Oh, wonderful. Would you call Would you call everyone then? I'll pass out the food and drinks. Oh, this is devious yeah. and I love it. Soren said he'd come up with something. Uh-huh. I also love the fact that like I also love the fact that like um the other two were uh it was Leaf and who else was it? Liar. Yeah, it was Leaf and Liar and it's like oh yeah, they they're Lagoos, but they're going along with this plan. Leith and Lyre are also sisters. Yes, the they way. are. Twin they, sisters, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it hasn't told, told us that yet, but they are. Mm -hmm. Looks like the Watchmen are all asleep. Good job, everyone. The first step is done. Next, we clear out the remaining guards and open the main gate. Ronolf and his troops are waiting outside for us. Let's go. And that's how the girl mercenaries get into someone's house. H who are you? Subhumans! What's going on? What happened to the lookout? Stand your ground. Our reinforcements will be here soon. Hold fast until they arrive. So, uh, yeah, you guys got played. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is a route mission and we only get 12 turns. We, ah, okay. we need them to be cleared out in time for the gate to lower and to let the main army in. Right. This doesn't look like a very big chapter, but are there any notable things I should know about beforehand? Um, okay, so a couple of fun facts. Uh, we'll have some reinforcements starting on turn four. All um, right. There's some uh, houses that we can visit. Uh, yes. Liar and Leith are with us. If either of them um, are knocked out, they'll retreat and still be available later. Awesome. So don't worry about that too much. But it is, like, at least beneficial to keep them alive. Yeah, uh, they're partner units, so we can indirectly control them. Right. All right, sounds good to me. Um, also, the house in the middle of the map... Right here. Yeah, so there's a, there, there's a strange thing there where if we visit it with either Rolf or Oscar or Boyd, we won't get the treasure that time and we'll have to visit it with someone else, but that will unlock a base conversation next time. Okay, so we should visit it with one of the brothers. Yeah, yeah, for like a neat little oddity. Okay, I'm down for that. So let then let's start with this. First of all, there's this guy with a steel sword that's coming down here. I say we visit this house with Gatry so that he can come around and start going this way. Okay. And uh, he he will be able to tank this guy easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is a <coughs> oh jeez. You good? <laughs> yeah, I started to do an old lady voice and my throat just said no. Nope. Good, goodness gracious, yeah, man. Yeah. The subhumans are attacking us. Oh no, this can't be happening. You're a mercenary, right? Please, you have to save us. We'll pay, of course. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. All right, cool. Um, it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lot going on here. So um, I know there's a steel longbow here. So I'm thinking of putting Ike here to take out this bowman and then go from there. Okay. Because he can easily take a steel longbow. And it'll get and him that'll out get to him. the... Yeah, exactly. Where we can hit him with Rolf for someone. Uh-huh. All right. Let, yeah, let's just go ahead and use the Atard. Oh, this scenery is so cool! That, that moon. Good work, Ike. The best crit is an unnecessary crit. And that's a level up. Yo, they, they did a really good job with the scenery in this game. So, quick question. Yes? Capes. Yay or nay? Um, depends on the unit. I am pro cape. In this situation, I'm pro cape. Um, if I were a superhero, no cape. <laughs> no capes. <laughs> like, like once technology gets to the point where there's Ooh, like... Ooh, okay. Glad we spotted that. That's a killer edge. Yeah. Alright, so... 
That's a killer edge, and that's a steel axe, actually. That's quite a bit of a dangerous situation there. Um, how do we want to go about that? Um, I think maybe we could try and... How does Oscar do against that front halberdier? Mm, not bad. Okay, and he can't get to the swordsman. Um, what I'm thinking is... I think, I'm thinking Titania. Well, Titania is an axe, an axe fighter. Yeah, but, but I think she could take the hit. Oh, uh, you could try a short axe against him too. Just to get an idea. But that'll also like um, keep her unable to canto. Ooh, yeah. that's not bad actually. I wouldn't mind if we can somehow um, get that guy out of the way, but I don't think anyone else can reach. That's the problem. Yeah. So yeah, I say we uh, do a little bit of... Um... Ike might just have to deal with it. Oh yeah, Ike's definitely gonna have to deal with it. But we are going... I think we. I think what we can do is like maybe put a couple units here. I'm thinking Titania and Oscar. Yeah. Um, and uh, they can kind of tank while our, the rest of the units take care of this guy. Yeah. So in that regard, let's actually do this. All right, not bad. And then we cancel back this way so that Oscar can come over here with a short spear. Okay, this should be a should be a kill. Nice. I did it. I killed something. Oh, come on, Oscar. You're not that weak. Yeah, Os Oscar's killed things before. It's You're not missed. Yeah, he's just not good at one-shotting. Mm-hmm. All right, now we have the free reign to kind of, like, go from there. Just going to get a quick beat on everyone else real quick. All right, so, um, Soren. Let's actually have you come over here. Oh, we can extinguish the flames, too. Um... Well, that just hurt. Well, no, That'll... they are affected by Fog of War as well. Yeah. I don't know if there's really a point to doing that, though. I'd rather be able to see the whole board. I'm honestly tempted because maybe they're out of range of these guys. That's the main thing. Hmm. So that way, like, if he comes in, he won't be able to attack because he won't be able to see us in initially. Do you want to try with, like, Boyd or somebody who can't range attack anyway? Yes. First, let's take care of this guy. Because if we can actually do that, we can turn it back on next turn and yeah. then go from there. I believe that is a situation. So that's really cool that they actually provide that for us. Yeah. This kind of makes this the opposite of that one chapter from part two. No fooling. The caves. That's actually really sick. Okay, so, um... Rolfy boy. I will fire the arrows of punishment, Ed, Ed boy. Oh, that's beautiful. Mist, can you finish this guy off? I don't think so. Nope. Oh man, Mist, you are a <laughs> you are a paper twig. Yeah. Um Mia. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Perfection. Alright. Oscar's giving Mia kills because he feels bad. These are these are pity pity kills. I also just like Mia, okay? You do like Mia. Ooh, good level up too. Yeah. Yeah, not bad at all. She's cool. She's very cool. Alright, and now. Reese. Lights out. Alright, so unclear whether or not they can see us. Cause we can see them because of these torches. Yeah. But what we can do next turn is uh, Reese will um, Reese will turn it back on, and then we charge. Okay. Yeah, for the for the XP.
Uh, oh my lord. Uh, at least. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, nope, they can see. Okay. Okay, but she tanked it. She did tank it. Good job, Titania. Still, that's a little bit scary. <sighs> yeah, they're going for a positive weapon triangle. Hey, the, these guys, like, these guys aren't idiots, so... Oh, Oscar! Yeah, because it's a short spear. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, I get it. Still, that's not ideal. That, on the other hand, is... Yeah, this is pretty nice. Ah, uh, Leaf. <laughs> Leaf! Ugh, oh, defeat! I gotta fall back! Everyone, stay alive! Alright, see I, ya. I, I should have just, like, told him to halt. Oh, hello! There's a gap there! Oh, no. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this got bad really fast. No fooling. Uh, someone? Anyone? Don't worry, Lyra, my love. I'll protect you. Oh my god, how hilarious would it be if that actually became the case here? Alright then, um... I almost want Ike to just kind of block that. He, he can do it. Well, we gotta figure out what to do with these guys. Yeah, so... Do you want to maybe move Gatry back to start a new wall? Mm, maybe. Who would uh, take the other spot? Boyd? Boyd? Yeah, actually, that's actually not that not a bad idea. Yeah, so first see what the Boyd problem, can do. But here's the problem, though. They're sword wielders. Yeah, but... Well, well, let's look. Let's look what it would be. If not, if not Boyd, then Oscar. Not ideal. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want Oscar to do it. Okay. Um, maybe heal him with mist first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can take a, f a few hits there. Mm hmm I think I'm gonna have Gatry do it first, though. Yeah. Yeah, I trust Gatry to be able to handle this. And if Lyra is smart, keyword if. Well, she doesn't have to be smart. We can tell her to move back. Right, right. Forgot about that. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, yeah, get some damage. Actually, this gives me another idea. So stay there, and they can't move past them. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Reese. Yep. Perfect. Nice. You know, that reminds me, have you seen uh, any of the trailers for DNF Duel? No. Um, so basically, do you know about Dungeon Fighter Online? No. Really? Yeah. Surprised by that. Basically, it's kind of like a D&D-esque, uh, like, uh, dungeon crawler type game, but they turn it into a fighting game with DNF Duel. Okay, cool. They made Crusader a fucking giant. Alright. <laughs> so, he's like, he's basically this, like, Vaya con Dios, like, priest character who's a tower, he uses a hammer, and he literally fights you with the power of God. Okay, alright. Like, I gotta show you the trailer later, because it is gloriously, like, it is glorious. Alright, then, we gotta take care of all this, this yeah. crap. Yeah, who do we want to kill the Killing Edge guy? Maybe Sheenan? I'm at least willing to get get it started. 42. 42. Oh. 
That is fine, though. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, unfortunately, now we've already used both of our healers. That's fine, honestly, because, like, Titania... Uh, yeah, she has a vulnerary. Yeah, but her using that is going to be one less attack, and we don't have a lot of people to use here. Especially if they're coming around that corner on the left. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and have Ike... Uh, uh, direct. Direct. Good call, thank you. And maybe target... Avoid? Okay, you can do that too. Yeah, that's hard. So, I feel like... I feel like snuffing out that torch is working against us here. Yeah, not, now that not, like... It, it was a thought, though. Yeah. Not all thoughts are good thoughts, but... Well, excuse me. It was one of those. So I guess maybe Titania can go and block and use a Vulnerary. And we could have everybody else try and take out the people who are here. Okay, there we go. Just trying to get a beat on things here. Uh, that's not ideal. We gotta take that guy out in one shot. Uh, Rolf, I don't think we're gonna get to the long bowman over there. Soren? There we go. Uh, who's gonna take out this general, though? That's what I- that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, we should have attacked somebody with Oscar over here and then can't him down. Yeah, you're you're probably right on that. Okay. Um Let's see what Boyd can do. Yeah, this is not ideal. No, it's not. Um How does Mia do against the general? Yeah. And... Okay. So I think... I think we have Boyd move and attack the general. I think we have Miss... We have Mia stay where she is to block Mist. We have Soren there, too, though. I think Soren can take a hit. Can he take two hits? Because I think he's also... Well, if we put... Range here's what I'm speeder. thinking. I'm putting Ti I'm thinking of putting Titania here. What about the people coming around the wall? Well, they're being, like... They're, they have, like, thickets here that they have to get through. Yeah. Do you want to have maybe Rolf light the torch so we can see what's coming around the wall? Do we want to do that? I don't think he's going to be able to do anything else, like, of note. Can't see much. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see something, actually. That is actually enough. If she lands, if she both, lands all, hits. If she lands both hits. Okay. That'll give us the room we need. Okay, well, we could try it. Fuck. That's really bad. Yeah. Um... Okay, now how can Floyd do? <sighs> 
All right, you want to go for the killer? I'm going to take a risk here. Yeah, I'm yeah and also here. put him... Yeah. Thank you, Boyd. Yeah, that was a that was a good time to crit. <sighs> okay. Okay, so let's get the range on that um, guy with the spear again. Okay, and Soren is out of that range. Yeah, he is in range of Titania though, who can't take a hit right now. I say. Do you, do you want to move Mia up to block? Is that? Honestly, I think that's the best thing we can do. That leaves Mist more vulnerable. But I don't think she can block Mist either way, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's do that. This is the best thing we can do, I think. Wait. I have an idea. Okay. This is dumb, and I hate I have to do this. Oh, you can actually avoid... Okay. Okay. I mean, that's not going to matter unless you move Mia to the other spot. To but block it's mist. something that they can target that it's probably an easier kill than Mist. Okay. I, I, I see. Okay. Yeah, that's honestly the best thing we can do right now. I forgot that you could direct even after you've moved Ike in this game. That's nice. All right, going after Ike. That's, that's, that's good. I'd rather that than Mia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually quite surprised by that, to be honest. Whew. That got a little scary. Yeah. Oh, that's a pole axe. Oh, he's got this. Yeah, thank you for dodging, Oscar. Ooh, nice and, with a double, too. And doing some damage, yeah. And then uh, Reese can come in and finish. Yeah. Yeah, you got no chance. All right. Yep, there it is. Yeah, sorry, liar. Ugh, can't believe it. I gotta fall back. The rest of you guys think you can pull it together? Good question. Can we pull it together? I think so. Huh, we're good. We're All good. Right. We're, good. Right. we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, Liar took a bullet for us there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's do some work here. I'm going to pull Ike back this way. Yeah, that'll also give us vision on the corner. Mm hmm. Yeah, just take this guy out, right? Yep. Jeez, that was close. Okay, so after dodging that bullet. Or rather, Liar yeah. taking the bullet for us. It's really nice that the game, like, lets Liar and Leith retreat there, because I feel like sometimes Fire Emblem games wouldn't be that nice about it. Mm-hmm, no fooling. All right, then. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I kind of want Reese to retreat back here. These guys can hold the line. Yeah, they're doing fine. 